since I'm eating on the apple, I looked at these garlics. You want three leaves to be brown, so here's one, here's two, here's three. Brown. Some of them are, well the tips are brown. You can see the leaves are green, but then you look up to the tip and they're brown. I'm going to take them out of here. It's going to get hot again tomorrow. A couple days. It is time to harvest the garlic. Come out. Oh, this is by itself and it's a monster. Here we go. Now we're talking. This is uh, a yield. The hot, one of the highest yields per area that you can get right here. There are lots of garlics in this one little spot. We'll go ahead and measure it when we're done. Wow. This is really getting to be something already. Just I just got four out of ground and I'm already ecstatic. Look at it. This is a potato here. Here's a carrot. Oh, we're going to get a carrot yield too. Let's see if I can get this on video. Here's a carrot. Look at it. We got a carrot yield within our garlic. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Let's see if this one will come out since I loosened the ground right there. Yep, it's coming. Look at that. That's a dandy. <laughs> What's so exciting is I got this stuff is so densely planted. Another nice one. Let's take a total shot of this. I should. So it goes to here are the elephant garlics. Right here. And then from this, from here over. So that's three, six feet by maybe two feet of bed. I'll get a ruler. After I get it all harvested, I'll get a ruler and we'll measure it. But I'm already I'm already been astounded. Blinded. This is a, I'm going to treat that as a weed now. Does come out? Yep, it's coming out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, holy cow. What's this? That's a potato that's not going to go anywhere because it, I'm going to reap. Oh, there's a nice one. We plant it all. Let's go in this direction here. in the roots you can hear that there's a smaller one getting closer to, to, to the shade of a skirt so they're smaller it's nice Over here by the shade, they're smaller. Still respectable. They're not tiny. Reverse here a little bit. There's two to grow together here. One's a nice big one, and the other one's a smaller one. You have to count how many, too. I guess you can get a cone if you're following along. Small ones are growing together. When you plant a clove, sometimes there's two little cloves instead of one. It's hard to tell. Nice, nice, nice. That's the, that's a potato plant that's growing in here. Wow, I'll have to tie it up to the skirt. I don't know if I just wrap it around there. The skirt's got a stiff stalk. Here. 
We'll pull that out of the ground too. There's got to be some babies in there that we can eat fresh. So look at the soil. I'll, I'll give you a, I'll give you an idea here how good the soil is. When you have it to clump together like this and it holds together, that's bacteria creating a, a, a kind of a slime or kind of a glue. It's holding all the chunks together because if they didn't do that, bacteria are so small they would just keep sinking into the soil until they got too low. So they make this. And it should crumble apart very well, very easily if it's in top shape. Yeah. Yeah. Crumbly. That's top, that soil that's in top shape. Ooh, ooh. We pulled one out of the ground here. We'll leave that here. We're going to have to get a shovel. Let's see if we can find it. Okay. Let's get a shovel right away. I got one here somewhere. Here it is. I didn't plant it. Oh yeah, there's some on here. These are going to be fresh eaten for tomorrow for breakfast. That's what I'm going to do with them. So they, grow, they would have grown bigger if I let them in. But I'm just interested in getting an extra harvest as I'm harvesting the, an extra yield as I'm harvesting the potato, that the garlic. We are in the money. growing together right there. Ooh, there's a big one right at the end. So I just pulled out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. Just so I, just like that. <laughs> Another potato. There's a carrot. There's a carrot there. A little baby carrot. Oh, that's a bigger one. We're going to be frying bluegills for, for dinner tonight, so that's going to be a nice addition. Super fresh. There's another couple carrots here. Oh, look at those. are dandies here. Those are big ones. They were on the edge, so they got a little more sun. They're ready to be picked, too. Oh, I got another one. These purple Peruvians, they, uh, they blend in with the soil too well. Hard to see them. Okay, we're done with our harvest of Upper Michigan commercial grade. I may clean up a little bit and then we'll go count them and I'll go get a ruler and we'll measure how much space I used to grow the, the amount that I did. Hey. Oh, there's another potato here that I missed right there. Well, I didn't miss it because I just got it. Okay. Let's put this back on. Uh... Oh, look. I can take refreshments now. Oh, I forgot about these black raspberries over here. Let's have a snack. Hmm, there's lots of them. Wow. These are sweet like sugar cubes here. Because I forgot about them, I didn't, I didn't pick them too early. Or over here too. Oh, I got 
that's perfect when you see that big lobes there and there's like a white between them those are the ripest ones good thing I saw that because the other day they'd probably be falling on the ground too rotten well I eat them even when they're pretty pretty soft so I even pick them up off the ground and eat them by my tripod. That one's hard. This one's soft. What a nice refreshment. All that garlic picking's got me exhausted and hungry. Now I'm eating. Life is so simple when you do things like this. No complicated, exhausting issues. Just pick berries and eat them. I think I got most of them here. Get this back inside of here and go find a ruler. I'll be back. I have a ruler. Let's measure this where I just took these garlics out of. That looks like the end right there and right here. So we're looking at 44 inches. 44 inches by 30 inches. So if we go to 48, that's four feet, less than four feet by three feet. Now let's count how many Garlic's got out of there. Okay. I just have to do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Forty-two. Forty-two garlics came out of a less than four by three foot bed. And plus, a nice taste of carrots for the meal tonight. And we can mix those carrots with potatoes. <laughs> Oh, what a nice harvest. Now we got to get our picture. Look at that. Oh. oh. Get that a little higher. <laughs> All right, now we got to hang them up. Get back to you on it. We'll do a little pre-sort here. The big monsters we save, uh, go, go through them for the clothes for replanting. What I've been doing for uh, since 1998 when I got this variety. So if I planted 44 of them there, we want to at least probably get 50 of them. 50 big cloves for replanting. And even though they're I'm putting them apart doesn't mean I'm gonna eat any of them. Me eat, eat none of them. I'll pull the cloves apart after they're dried out. And I'll use the biggest cloves. Most clothes will, will eat. There. And there's some in here that are kind of probably could do it. But we'll decide after to see what, what happens when we pull this apart. Now we want to kind of stagger them a little bit because we're going to hang them to dry. 
Now I'm hanging as a big bunch. Yeah, now we need a, a string. Okay. I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to look perfect right now. If I hang it from the string right here, so you can see that they're all spread out and so they're not going to be curling one another. Look at that. I'm going to go hang it in the shed and then I'll show you what it looks like in there. And this is the garlic I just harvested. So here's the bottom. These are the smalls. And then we get into the big ones. Big batch right there. And then the top one right there. So now they're separated. They're not just one big bunch there, and now they can dry.